Hi friends! Today I have the most important breathing technique that will help you through any difficult situation. It will also help balance what in yoga we call the nadis, which are energy channels that flow up the spine all the way up to the brain and down. And why am I sharing this with you? Because it's one of the most easiest breathing techniques where no one's going to be asking you anything and you can do it anywhere at any time and it'll help bring a sense of calm and relax to your entire being. Excuse my attire, I just came back from teaching yoga. In fact, the next few videos that you see coming from me will be a little raw like this. <laughs> I am seven months and moving into my last um, few months and so working uh, as a yoga teacher which is what I love to do every single day and it takes up pretty much a lot of my time and so making my beautiful videos for you, they're coming soon again, it's just a matter of time, maybe you'll see it when the baby comes. <laughs> so let's begin your breathing technique. Um, sitting real nice and tall, relax your shoulders, find a comfortable seat. You can cross your legs. Um, that's the best way. For some of us that can do lotus pose, which is the binding the legs together, you can do that as well if you're a little bit more advanced in this. So sit really nice and tall, open up the chest, relax your face, and just close your eyes for a moment. You can take your hands placing your thumbs together, interlacing the fingers, and then placing your hands right down by your belly and just have them rest onto your thighs or your shins. Close your eyes. Take a deep inhale through the nose and exhale. Relax. Two more times like this. Deep breath in. Exhale. One more deep breath, and exhale. And now taking your right hand, you can take your left hand and place your thumb and index finger together so that your hand looks kind of cute like that. Place it onto your knee when you're all yogi. And then your other hand, go ahead, and I love to take two my peace fingers because it's easy for me and my thumb and so so let's begin just closing your eyes taking a deep inhale through the nostrils and exhale full and deep through both nostrils now take your right thumb and place it over your right nostril as you inhale through only the left nostril Hold that left nostril with your peace fingers and then release the right nostril. Exhale through the right nostril. Inhale through the right. Hold the right nostril. Exhale through the left. Deep breath in through the left. Hold and exhale through the right. Deep breath in through the right. Hold and exhale through the left. And then gently placing your thumbs and index finger together of your right hand. Place it onto your knees, sit nice and tall, keeping the eyes closed. Breathing full and deep in through the nose. And exhale through the nose. your state of mind, anything that can help you. And so try it out. Normally what I suggest is about, it's up to you. I do seven rounds because I love that number seven or nine rounds. And eventually you'll start to feel 
something happening up here and I'd love to hear what you experience. Um, don't want to put any ideas in your mind because I think it's really important. Yoga is you discovering yourself and from your own experience you're able then to advance and share with others. And so enjoy your alternative nostril breathing and like always, if you enjoyed this video, please like the video on YouTube, share it with your friends through social media, and leave me a comment at the end of this video on my blog. If you have any questions, want to learn a little bit more about what's going on in my life, I'm open and really excited to share, and we'll be in touch. So keep up your practice. The divine friend in me loves the divine friend in you, and I'll see you next week. If you like this video, I'd love for you to subscribe and share it with your friends at The Divine Friend TV.